let's go through some of the laws of logarithm to make sense of, you know, reason them and make sense of them. Sometimes, of course, you see in like some of the examples, you see that the author of the book has something like log base, say, five of five to the power of, say, seven. And next thing you know that this just went away and you're left with only seven, this equals seven. All right, why is that? How can we just cancel log base five with that, that this part of the argument? Because this is log base five of five to the power of seven. How did, is it that we could cancel this log base five of five with this five? Here's what's going on. Let me go to the next page. So suppose if you have log some base of x equal, say, to y. What does this mean? This means that this base to the power of y equals x. So in other words, b to the power of y equal x. So notice that if I have, let's now give this some numbers. Let's say that if I have log, log base, say two of two to the power of uh, three, okay? Let's give this, let's let me set, set that equal to X or question mark. What is that equal to? I know that by the definition, two to the power of question mark must equal two to the power of three. Therefore, if these two bases are the same, then this question mark must equal three. So now let me change color and let's change. If I have, let's say, log base two, of two to the power of five, I know this must equal five. Why is that? Because this to this power, two to the power of five must equal two to the power of five. So a shortcut without explanation is going to be, of course, confusing would be just to cancel this right here. So if you have log base three of three to the power of X, so we can cancel this. If you have log base four of um, four to the power of nine, you can cancel this. Once again, once again, you can reason that log base four of uh, four to the power of nine must equal some unknown X, okay? I know four to the power of X, this to this power must equal four to the power of nine. And therefore X equals nine, or I could just cancel this in here and I'm left with nine. Now a direct result of this is a very nice uh, proof and very useful of course, uh, that I have log base, let's say A of some X to the power of N equals N log base A of X. So in other words, you see that this N right here can act in the right-hand side, it is acting as exponent. On the left-hand side, it is acting as a coefficient. And it sometimes confuse, uh, can really be confusing that how is that? And that is the direct result of what we showed in previous page. Let me just erase this and continue. Uh, suppose, let's say that I'm gonna do, uh, let's change the alphabet. Let's say that I have log, I wanna show that log of, any base of any x to the power of y equals uh, y, the power now acting as coefficient, times log base b of x. And uh, 
actually I was one of those uh, students myself years ago that was really confused that how could that Y act as, uh, as power on the left-hand side and coefficient on the right-hand side? And so here it's, I'm gonna to explain to you. So let's let, let some log of base X, let's say equal to Z. Okay, so let me put this in an so we want to still let uh, log base of x equal to z. I hope you agree with me that by definition, then b to the power of z equals x. By definition of uh, logarithm, this base to the power of z must equal the argument of the uh, logarithm. So b to the z equals x. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna raise both sides of this equation, uh, raise both sides of this to the power of y. So then I'm gonna have b to the power of z to the power of y equals x to the one. Notice I didn't break any algebraic rules. I didn't do anything wrong. So now, now I'm gonna go ahead and take a log of both sides. If I take log of both sides and I have log of some base of B to the power of Z Y, remember power of power here, Z times Y. Um, so log base B of B to the power of Z Y must equal or equals log base B of x to the power of y. So now based on what we showed in previous page and first the beginning of this um, video, I can cancel this and I can say z times y equals log base b of x to the power of y. Okay. And remember that here, let me put star here, that we said z equals log z equals log base b of x. So I'm gonna, instead of z, I'm gonna write log base b of x times y equals log base b of x to the power of y. Okay. So let me just rearrange this nicely. The left-hand side, let me put y in front because here I have log base b of x times y. So let me write, put the y in front, y times log base b of x equals log base b of x to the y. And that's what where we started. Well, if you like, you can put this in, on the left-hand side and say log base b of x to the power of y equals y times log base b of x. So we are done with our, with proving what we started with. Okay, there are uh, three more really important uh, proofs for me to show you, but I think I cannot fit them in all in one video. So I'll do another one for you. Uh, let me know if you have any question. Thank you.